Sorry for the darkness, but I am in the car in my parking deck. I have all of my stuff packed and ready for this little mini staycation. I'm super excited. It didn't take me as long to pack as I thought it would. Thankfully, I'm leaving right on time. It's 1.30 and it should only take me about 45 minutes to get there. But I have tea time at 3.00. And so I just want to make sure that I'm able to like park and get situated and stuff before tea time start. I'm probably going to stop at Starbucks on the way just to have a little something something while I drive. But I will talk to y'all when I get there. made it to the Chateau Elon Inn and I'm about to go and check in. My room isn't supposed to be ready until 4 and it is 2.30. I'm just gonna see if I can just go ahead and get my little parking pass or whatever so I can park and then I'll just leave my stuff in the car, go to tea time. Tea time is from 3 to 4 so by the time tea time is over I will be able to um, check into my room and all of that good stuff. But I just want to make sure that like parking is situated and that I don't get towed or nothing. I don't say that I can't park right here, but still, I just want to make sure. So I made it to the room so really quickly I'm gonna give y'all like a little tour of the room even though it's just me I got the two queen beds and that's because the two queen beds was cheaper than the king bed this was not cheap so wherever I could save money I did plus it's like today's Wednesday so I figured I wouldn't really be like stealing the two queens from someone who really needs it desk area then we got the TV, and then I got this beautiful view of the pool. I don't know, it's kind of hard to show y'all because of the sun. Hopefully uh, later when the sun, isn't, the sun isn't shining so much, I can show y'all. Here's like a closet, and I wonder if it comes with the robes. I feel like probably not because of Corona, yeah. There is no robe. I think pre-corona you would get a robe. Here's like a little mini fridge. And then here is the bathroom. Got a nice tub that I'm going to take advantage of, toilet. And then oddly behind the door is the shower. And it's really pretty. But yeah, y'all, I am about to go to tea time. I'm excited, so I will talk to y'all a little bit later.
came back from tea time it was really good i think it was only like me and then this couple that were like partaking in tea time which is actually how i wanted it to be i didn't want to talk to nobody um but we're obviously far away anyways the lady that was helping me her name was dion and she was from london but i um put on a little bit of makeup as you can see and i took a few pictures in this outfit let me show y'all what i'm wearing i don't know if i showed y'all earlier so i have this top that i showed y'all that i got from target i have on these green um jeggings that have like the ripped knee i got these from fashion nova like a long time ago and then my shoes are like these little booties or whatever from Target so this was my outfit tried to be very fall today but it's hot actually it's like um high 70s or like mid 70s what I'm gonna do is chill oh can I show y'all the pool now area there we go I can show y'all the pool area now there are like some people asleep in those little like chair things earlier today. <laughs> I'm back from eating my food and drinking my wine so I got two free glasses of wine that came with like the little special that they had when I was booking my room wine was really good um, it's a really sweet wine it's called Dol Dolce Rosso I'm probably pronouncing that all wrong I, I I don't know what the alcohol content on it is but I could tell that it's probably like none <laughs> it tastes like juice it tasted really good though so for those of you who like sweet wine but not very strong wine like that's probably the perfect wine for you i am so tired y'all i am super tired so i am oh i forgot to tell y'all about them hot wings them hot wings was not good <laughs> it was not good like they were like four of them so it's like a 10 piece there are four of them that were like fried perfectly i like mine nice and crispy with a bunch of sauce on it there's like four of them that were fried nice and crispy then the rest of them were like all gooey and i hate those type of wings like i want mine fried extra crispy um the fries are really good but i should have known like i can only get my wings at certain places but I am about to wipe all of this makeup off, take these little fake eyelashes off, and run my bath. This is the main thing that I've been looking forward to is running my bath. Don't worry y'all, I sanitize the tub. I know that supposedly they come and clean their room, blah, 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 which they do, but I don't trust it. So I sanitized it myself and I'm about to make my bath and I'm so excited, like so excited. y'all I didn't just wake up actually um I've been up for a while it's like almost 9 a.m but I'm getting ready to go downstairs and get breakfast so breakfast is included in my little package so I'm about to go do that um check out is at 11 a.m so that'll give me time to have breakfast and then pack up my stuff it's free to park here so even though I check out at 11 I think I still might walk around and go to um, the winery and see how much that wine is that I drank last night because it's really good and I also need to check the alcohol content because if it's less than 10% then I'm probably not gonna buy it. 
I'm gonna put on some clothes. I've already washed my face, brushed my teeth, all of that stuff. So I just need to put on my clothes and head downstairs for breakfast. I am a good old country girl. I, <laughs> I almost forgot to film this. I already started to mix it up, but I got the Southern Grits and Bacon Bowl. So it has grits, bacon, onions, cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, some salt and pepper. Um, let me know down below, number one, do you eat grits? And then do you add butter? Do you add cheese? Do you add sugar? Do you do a combination of two or all three? Let me know. I'm just a cheese and butter girl. I don't like sweet grits. <laughs> That's not my thing at all. So I've gone ahead and checked out of my room. Um, it was a simple process. I just told them my room number and I was checked out. I am gonna go to the winery like I mentioned earlier, but first I wanted to show y'all. So like right there is the inn. So literally right across from the street is where the winery is. But this is like the little pathway to the winery and they have like there are grapes and stuff, but I'm sure there's probably no grapes growing or very few growing. Um, they're doing like a little like pumpkin patch thing going on. I think it started yesterday and goes through the weekend. I'm about to be nosy. I wonder if I'm supposed to go over here or not. Okay, so this is where the little pumpkin patches, they got social distancing going on. So it starts at 4 p.m. it says till sunset. It's cute. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get to go into the winery because it was closed until the afternoon or else I would have showed you the winery. But you can do like wine tasting here, which I've done with my girls before. They have all different kinds of wine to from affordable to expensive. Um, but it's just a good place to just have a nice little staycation or even a girls day or a day with your boo. You can see I have made it home. I enjoyed my stay. Um, I definitely highly recommend it if you live in Georgia, if you live in the metro Atlanta area, or if you're ever down here and you don't want to like visit the city or maybe you've already been to Atlanta and it's kind of old and you want to do something different, it's a nice little thing to do. Um, I would have stayed longer, but that price per night, it ain't cheap. So... <laughs> Right now, I just did one night. Um, maybe in the future, I'll do more than one night. I don't know. We'll see. But that is it for this vlog, y'all. I'm about to watch some shows that I missed out on. Missed out on. But I hope y'all enjoyed this little, like, my week off. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.